Hello everyone and welcome back to the NLD Center YouTube channel. In this video, uh, part two of the tutorial series so far about making meshes inside the Unreal Engine editor uh, to use for in your games. In part one we made this piece of spline road that we can use with the spline tool and in the meanwhile just to save some video time and to let you guys figure out some parts of yourselves. Hey, needs to be fun though, right? Uh, I made new pieces already. I will show you um, what they consist of, but well, yeah, in, in the end you should make and, and think of your own ways to make pieces for this. So this is what I got so far. Uh, the straight piece from part one, I made two T-section intersection pieces, a left one and a right one. And to fix that off, I made the edges for the sidewalks and uh, yeah, yeah, I will show you how to put it in place. Um, to start in part one, I talked about putting in these sub walls, let's call it like that to maintain the same size of outer box. Uh, I did it in these parts as well. As you can see underneath here, underneath the ground, there are walls. You won't see them, doesn't matter, but they need to be there. Otherwise this won't line up together. Uh, that's for that. Um, consists like the first one out of the same shapes. The only extra it has is the T section of the white dots. And I removed or just subtracted actually, didn't remove, but the sides one by one and made them into a mesh, as you can see down here. And the last one is yeah, a little bit complicated, but not that much. I see there are some cylinder. Oh no, okay. I made the same edges out of the cylinders, the sides, put a square box in the corner, the outside the square box to cut out the, the, the shape and a cone in the center just to round it up. And then you get this neat piece of a corner. I did that twice, again made it into a prop or a mesh whatever you want to call it and it turns out like this so now we need to put it into the spline Wrong side, right side. Okay, that's that. That's it. We got a T section. Um, need to line out the dots, but that's just 
but as you can see the edges are not lined so let's do that for a sec something like this and as I discussed in part one if you stretch it out even a little bit more than the size it originally is it duplicates the white line so you can do two things about it um, we need the extra wall over here so what I like to do is just this put it back uh, so that the wall nicely fits together like that and then just use the tangent if necessary to line it up but I see it's doing just fine there's uh, some parts are not straight so should fix that still not quite ah. we're almost lined up and for the last part we can use the thing to just line it up as good as we want you can just put down the numbers but for this tutorial I'm not gonna take the effort to do that I just want to see how this is turned out let's just say start from current camera selection play okay so because of that dude that's not gonna work but I want to do it in the game so I'm just gonna move him from now for now and here we are we need to rebuild the light still the lines are in the roads as you can see but the T section is finished Again, for now, this is part two. This was part two. I will see you guys in part three. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video as well. And again, if you have any questions, just ask. And I hope to see you next time. Stay tuned.